Oil spill cleanup with the last all, a non-dispersant solution to the problem. Elastol is an organic long-chain polymer. Specifically, it is a viscoelastic hydrocarbon and comes as liquid or powder. The liquid has a hazy appearance and a very faint odor. Its specific gravity is 0.79, hence it floats on water. It is completely insoluble in water but dissolves easily in petroleum products. Elastol is effective in allowing removal of most petroleum-based hydrocarbon liquids from water. The polymer nature of elastol allows mixing with the oil without formation of an air-oil-water emulsion. Elastol will break physical emulsions. The amount of elastol to be used depends upon the amount of oil and its viscosity. Generally, heavier oils require less elastol than light oils. Elastol is listed on the U.S. EPA National Contingency Plan. Consequently, elastol can be used on an oil spill if the on-scene coordinator specifies it. Elastol differs from dispersants in that dispersants spread oil out by breaking the oil into smaller particles. Dispersants have some toxicity. Dispersants depend upon wave and wind action to spread the oil over a wider area. Dispersants depend upon dilution, oxidative degradation, solar degradation, and bacterial degradation to reduce the quantity of oil in the water. The oil toxins remaining kill sea life. By contrast, elastol is non-toxic. It traps the oil in a physical polymer matrix, preventing the oil from spreading and allowing the oil to be better contained with booms and more easily recovered with skimmer and vacuum equipment. Elastol encapsulates water-soluble toxins in the oil so they don't enter the water column. Elastol will physically polymerize most petroleum products. The list of oil-based products that Elastol will dissolve into include crude oil of any grade, kerosene, gasoline, diesel, fuel oil, benzene, xylene, MTBE, and jet fuel. One gallon of Elastol is sufficient to allow removal of 13 gallons of gasoline. Since diesel is heavier, one gallon of Elastol will allow pickup of 34 gallons of diesel. Since medium and heavy oil are denser still, one gallon of Elastol will allow pickup of 84 gallons of medium oil and 150 gallons of heavy oil. We have found that these figures are conservative and usually lesser amounts of Elastol can be used. Elastol allows oil to be picked up to the exclusion of water. It is not unusual for the pickup ratio to be 97% Elastol oil with 3% water. This compares to dispersant treated oil where the pickup ratio is 8-10% to oil and 90-92% water. Recovered water is toxic, hazardous, and expensive to dispose of. When oil is spilled in water, wave action and wind action promote formation of an air-water-oil emulsion, sometimes called a mousse. With time, the mousse will break down into its component parts. With the addition of elastol to petroleum, the air-water-oil emulsion will break down quickly or not form at all. Wave action promotes the mixing of elastol into the spilled oil and makes the viscoelastic action stronger, holding the spill together for recovery. Here, heavy oil has been treated with the required amount of elastol. Pickup of only the oil is facilitated with the vacuum hose. Notice that the vacuum hose does not need to touch the oil surface. The partial pressure created by the vacuum hose being placed near the elastol oil surface is sufficient to draw the oil up the hose from a relatively large area without moving the hose from its present location. Traditionally, booms have been considered the first line of defense. Booms are used to form a barrier between the oil and the shoreline. The type of boom used is controlled by the anticipated sea state. It is important to realize that booms do not stop oil for any great length of time. Elastol enhances boom containment in open water. A skimmer or a vacuum hose must be used to physically remove the oil that is blocked by the boom. With the addition of elastol, the pickup rate improves by more than 900%. The key to success is to use elastol early to limit the scale of the spill. When the oil spill covers a large area, it is most efficient to use aircraft to apply elastol. When working in a grid pattern for elastol application and subsequent cleanup, a helicopter is more effective. GPS and GIS mapping capability in the helicopter provide for the most cost-effective application of elastol to the spill. Skimmers come in different sizes and pickup capabilities. The larger they are, the heavier they are, and the greater the pickup rate. This is an example of skimmer with the cover removed. 
Because oil has a slight polarity, the skimmer surface is charged, improving the rate of oil pickup. The addition of elastol, because of its long chain polymer nature, increases the rate of oil pickup over oil alone and eliminates any water. These are examples of two sizes of skimmers. The Model 24 has a pickup rate of 285 gallons per minute. Its physical size would allow it to be used with a small fishing vessel. The Model 96 has a pickup rate of 1600 gallons per minute. Because of its larger size and greater weight, a larger vessel would be necessary. For small spills and for picking up oil immediately adjacent to the boom barrier, a vacuum hose is more efficient than a skimmer. Decisions such as these are made by the on-scene personnel. A typical pickup scenario would include application of elastol in a pre-arranged grid pattern. The amount of elastol sprayed per square acre would depend upon the amount, density, and type of oil. A flotilla of fishing vessels would be six or more boats, with one oil storage barge to offload the recovered oil from the boat as it is picked up. Each boat would have a skimmer kit including skimmer, generator, vacuum pump, hoses, and couplings, along with tote tanks for temporary storage of oil. Because 55-gallon drums are cylindrical, they do not make as effective use of physical space on the boats as do regular tote tanks. Tote tanks will contain a larger volume of crude oil in a smaller physical space than would oil drums. Also, since tote tanks have a bottom spigot, the little amount of water collected during a last all oil pickup can be drained off of the tank. Since much of the cleanup crew will be contracted personnel along with their own vessels, a typical workday must include transit time to and from the site. Consequently, only six to eight hours of productive work is to be expected. Fuel for the vessels and for the spray helicopter would be provided both at the base and on board the barge. The primary function of the barge is to hold the recovered oil. The tote tanks, once emptied, will be returned to the vessels for further pickup of oil. In eight hours, six boats could pick up 96,000 gallons of elastol treated oil, increase the number of vessels in the flotilla, or increase the numbers of flotillas, and the daily pickup rate could be increased dramatically. A key point in elastol's use early on spilled oil is that the oil will not be lost. It can be taken to a refinery and processed. Because elastol forms a physical polymer with oil, the use of a shearing pump will break the polymer and allow the oil to be processed by standard procedures or simple dilution with similar oil removes the viscoelastic character of the recovered oil. Elastol is environmentally inert, insoluble in water. Elastol modifies oil behavior without chemical reactions. Elastol stabilizes spilled hydrocarbons on the water's surface. It also enhances performance of all existing recovery equipment. Elastol improves boom containment effectiveness and also improves skimmer efficiency for faster recovery. Elastol prevents poisoning of the water column. Elastol inhibits the formation of emulsions and mousses. Elastol preserves environmental integrity of the environs. Elastol supports simplified cleanup operations such as water or air jets on piers, flora, soil, etc. Elastol dramatically reduces oil penetration of beach sand. Elastol also reduces recovery volumes with no solid waste disposal. Elastol recovered oil may be processed in a refinery, reducing cost of the accident. Remember, only elastol treated oil is being picked up by the vacuum hose or skimmer. Very little water will be picked up. Elastel has also developed a product for cleaning oil from wildlife. Tacbird is a non-toxic elastol polymer combined with cellulose which can be applied to the feathers or fur of the animal. It contains no detergents, results in quick release of soiled wildlife, thereby reducing trauma to the animal. Tacbird promotes a higher survival rate than current methods because it removes only petroleum oils and not the natural fur and feather oils. Tacbird is easily transported because it requires no washing or incubation facilities. It is field proven and cost effective. Elastol has had success internationally. It has been used to remove spilled oil from a mangrove swamp in Australia without damaging the mangrove plants. It has cleaned wildlife coated with oil in Norway using the Tacbird procedures. It has removed spilled oil from coastal grasses and plants in Saudi Arabia. For more details, please log on to our website. For pricing on Elastol products and pickup equipment, please contact one of the following.